Hi, Leo. Welcome back. So, Leo, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Um, keep in mind it's a general reading, so you can feel free to flip the roles if needed. Also, this can be related to an intimate partner, yes, but not always. Dig a little bit deeper. Some of you that are not involved in intimate relationships, sometimes this can be a family, a friend, a coworker, etc. Um, but take it as it applies. I hope it um, resonates for those of you who are drawn to watch it. My readings are timeless, so um, I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you. So Leo, when I was meditating on the collective energy um, for my Leos, I got distinctly um, a thunder in my mind. And then slowly after that came in the song from Garth Brooks, which is Thunder Rolls. Um, a really intense song. It's a storytelling song, okay, about so things coming into culmination. Um, not saying that song um, <clears throat> will exactly fit your situation, as I get it more of a symbolism as like the thunder rolling in. But, you know, take a listen to it and see. I also got an image of two asteroids hitting and just a combustion of energy. So I feel like, you know, you might be coming head on uh, with things that maybe you need to face or need to um, address or confront. There might be some confrontations for a few of you during this time. But it's just like, you know, things that are destined to meet will be meeting, so to speak, right? <clears throat> during this time frame. So those were kind of the primary messages I got. Definitely starting out with a bang here, Leo. So let's see where this is headed. You have the 12th house of surrender in the overall energy. So this is about um, your subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness. Um, sometimes it can talk about healing and spirituality and the unseen. All right. Um, but a lot of times what this card is mostly talking about is surrendering the need for control. You know, um, if there's been power struggles or there's been control issues in your life or you're dealing with someone like that, it might just be easier to surrender that or, and, or, you know, kind of go with the flow a little bit more in this energy, right? Um, this also talks about prayer and meditation, which of course could be helpful for you to connect with your own guides so that you can guide, get guidance uh, along the way um, over these next few weeks or whenever you're finding this reading. So let's take a look-see here, Leo, and see. Your overall energy is the hangman. All right, and it was in the reverse. So... This is about prophecies, okay? It's about getting enlightened. It's a, it's a bit of un, an uncomfortable stance to be in. Um, but because it's in the reverse, I feel you coming out of that. So whatever knowledge that you needed to gain, or maybe there was a pause or a feeling of stagnation in your energy, I feel that lifting, right? And the knowing coming in. And then things kind of that were once upside down, kind of being turned right side back up during this time frame. So I actually kind of like that for you. Let's see the person you are most likely dealing with, their energy, the world in reverse. These. Um, so this talks about feeling successful, feeling on top of things, cycles, completing, um, in the reverse, this person could be feeling like a failure, you know, or that things maybe aren't working out as they had hoped within, you know, maybe other areas of their life or for some of you with this connection. I feel like there's success to be had for this person, but they still have a little bit of energy work to do in order to pull that in, okay? And it may come in during this time frame, it may not, but right now, it's like they're kind of in the stagnant space that you were in that you're now bouncing out of, so I feel like this person is kind of getting in their own way for what's possible for them um, by not seeing their own value, okay? Um, and that could be an issue that this person often struggles with or just during this time frame. So let's get some cards out and get deep, shall we? And see uh, what's going on. We're going to go into the recent past energy. And then we're going to go into perception of how you see each other. And how you genuinely feel underneath it all. Your hopes uh, most likely, and most likely future outcome, okay? Let's 
see your mo most recent past. What led up to this? Five of Wands. The chariot, yep. So that's that struggle energy, that that uh, power struggle for some of you that I felt going on in the energy, okay? Uh, moving past that, definitely having forward momentum. If you had been kind of at a tug of war with yourself even, or having some conflict around you or within your own energy, like a back and forth, I feel that that's definitely dissipating as you go into um, the current energy. But then it's like, once you start moving forward, it seems like there's like a blockage again. Because I, what I literally got in my mind was like, someone driving down a road, they bypass the traffic, so good job there. But then they come to a construction site or an area where the road is blocked off. So it's like, you avert one issue and then you come into another um, blockage here for whatever reason. And... I think, Leo, what this is talking about is like, one, you may have let it go, but this person might not have let it go. You know what I'm saying? That type of energy. Or you might have, you know, just surrendered to the situation, you know, and I heard flew by the seat of your pants, but then it's like there's still bills to be paid or there's still uh, answers to questions that haven't been answered. Like there's still things to tend to in the environment, I feel. Right, and that's kind of serving as a temporary blockage. Now, this is showing up in the past energy, but for some of you, this is the current um, and or slightly into the future. But I just feel like, yeah, it's like, you know, I heard don't pass go, do not collect $200. Um, <laughs> it's like almost a game of Monopoly where it's like you go four steps ahead and then you get sent two steps back, but you're still making progress, right? It's not all in vain. I feel like that's what Source is trying to remind you of, Leo, that every time you run into what you think is um, a blockage, um, it is actually just a redirection of the current, right? So go with the flow is what they're encouraging you to do. So let's go into this person's recent past energy. Malios and see person Leo's de dealing with the strength cards. Well, that's you showing up in their energy. kind of taking this stance of what doesn't kill me makes me stronger and I feel like that type of mentality has worked for them in the past to help them push past through a lot of things uh, that they've had to look in the face I heard looking fear into the looking fear into the face no <laughs> facing their fears <laughs> you know what I mean they've had to do a lot of that and it could have been like acknowledging their own failures of the past, you know, or acknowledging areas that they could have done better, they wish they had done better, but for whatever reason, you know, they made the decisions that they made. I feel like this person is really being encouraged to leave the past in the past, okay? Because they're somewhat carrying that energy into the present and then into the future as well. It's just really not serving them because you can't go back in time and you... You can't rewind time. You can't regress in life. So you have to come to an acceptance in order to move forward. And I feel like this person's really being called in that direction, Leo, to come into that acceptance of what, what was, what was, but this is what is. So what are we going to do now? Like that type of energy. Um, I feel like this person is trying to get back in touch with their more fun side, uh, their more creative side. They are um, finding this uh, courage to be more generous, okay, and a little bit more vulnerable, I feel, to show their softer side a little bit more, um, you know, and, and it's part and due because they've been through a lot of things uh, that led up to this point, and so this is person is trying to break free uh, from the chains, is what I heard, break free from the things that have made them feel like a lack of success in the past. Let's 
So, what is Leo's perception? Now, keep in mind, perception is in the eye of the beholder. Maybe your truth, but it may not be this person's, but we'll start there, okay? All right. So, Leo, how do you perceive this connection? You have the Knight of Cups here. The Four of Cups. So you feel like this person is disinterested in you sometimes. Like sometimes you want to be loving or available to this person and it doesn't seem like they're paying you attention. You know, or they could have detached emotionally from you and you feel it. Um, and of course this can be vice versa. It could be the other way around. But for a lot of you I'm seeing this is how you're seeing it. You know, like, well, when I was open and available to you and trying to love on you, you weren't interested, you know. Um, or I didn't feel that loving embrace in return, right? And I think that's what caused maybe you to stop and think about things and like, what does this mean for me? And, you know, some of you took that personal, but, you know, people's responses to us are never personal to us. It's personal to them and where they're at uh, with their emotions and how they're feeling, okay? I feel like um, some of you may have reconciled with this person after a period of being uh, separated or detached or emotionally detached from them. Um, for others of you, if it's not speaking about that, then it's like the sense of getting it together after a period of maybe feeling a little bit distant from each other, you know, emotionally, where it's like one was trying to be like loving or more expressive and the other one kind of seemed like all in their head or like not interested or something. And it was just like you were vibing, but not at the same time, you know, where it was just a little bit off. And I think I got that in the last reading. Um, and I feel like, you know, for the most part, that energy has shifted for a lot of you into this more supportive and happy energy. Um, and I feel that in your energy, Leo. Some of you are just fine with the way things are, to be quite honest with you. Um, others of you, you see opportunity here to be more supportive towards each other, to try and find the good aspects of the relationship. But it's like, do you have a cooperative component here? Is this person on the same page? And I think... You know, for some of you, you're coming to the understanding that they're not, but we'll see. Um, or you're thinking that, right? Because sometimes our perception lies to us. Sometimes we think we're reading a situation correctly, but we are oftentimes reading our own emotions and projecting them onto another. So I feel like there's a bit of confusion here as to, okay, what is the reality of the situation? Um... So let's see this person's perception then of the connection and see. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ooh, Five of Cups. The Moon. Um, this person gets stuck on prior losses. That's what I felt. First of all, when they see the connection, they see a lot of love. Okay, they, this person loves feeling successful. They cannot stand it when they feel like they have let themselves down or let others down or when they look like a failure, okay? That could be in part because of their ego, but it could also be that this person is very hard on themselves internally anyways. And so, um, you know, they take every like rejection or failure or slight very, very personally. And that could be what's showing up, but... I feel like when this person thinks about the connection, you know, they, first of all, they love you, you know, um, they love that together you have success or uh, have had success in the past, but also they're incredibly emotionally drained by the connection at times, or just emotionally drained in general from thinking too much about things that they cannot change that are in the past. A prior loss or prior losses and it just gets them in this space where they feel like they're being sucked in you know to the lower energy emotion and then it makes it difficult for this person to breathe or to or to be able to even express what it is that they're feeling um, because I also think that this person hides under success uh, or successes or you know 
I don't want to say hides because I don't want to insinuate that somebody's purposely hiding something. But I think that there's a lot, there's a much more depth here than what they show you or the exterior world, right? So I feel like um, when this person emotionally detaches, and this reminds me a lot of the Leo reading I did on the Sunday Live, it's mostly in part because they're feeling overwhelmed and they're at a loss of how to cope with it. And they may have trouble asking for help, you know. But um, I do feel like there's a lot of genuine emotion and a feeling of success surrounding how they think about the connection. So let's see how you and them feel. So that was kind of a perception, ego, thought. Now we're going to go into the depth, to the ethereal, to the genuine emotions underneath all of that. So, Leo, how are you genuinely feeling? King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, I don't know who this is for. I heard very clearly, look at that. Look at that sweet ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> somebody might some <laughs> somebody might think someone's got a nice tushy. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's obviously if this is an intimate connection, or at least I hope so. <laughs> oh, that got me laughing. All right. <laughs> Um, King of Pentacles, nice Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a lot of admiration here, all right, uh, in the emotional space. Especially if you're a masculine Leo, I feel like you really admire the person that you're connecting with. You might really like their tushy. Um, if you're a female Leo, I feel like you're admired. You're, whoever this is, they admire you, um... You know, they, they really appreciate your independence. They appreciate, you know, what you provide. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> in your genuine emotions, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you got a lot going on here, Leo. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords. So genuinely, emotionally, what you're looking for is a, a space in your heart where you feel self-assured, in control, self-sufficient. You know, I think that emotionally, there's still some things that have the tendency to make you sad. But I think overall, you've got a pretty firm foundation here for your emotions. And you're not afraid to act on things, you know, like... If you're feeling a certain way, I don't feel like you're going to be afraid to say it, okay? I feel like there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of intensity or a desire to have uh, a union or um, something that you could be proud of, a partnership that you could be proud of, a home, or just feeling, you know, that you want to celebrate life more. And, but yeah, there's this very harsh protective energy here and that could be you it could be the person you're dealing with that kind of acts as a barrier sometimes as to being able to maybe execute on all of this that you're emotionally desiring but it's like you know stay steady in that energy leo and it's yours you know you desire it you believe in it and it's yours that's law of attraction that's how it works so I feel like if you can stay emotionally balanced, and I see a lot of you are in the space of being more emotionally in tune, then inspired action is going to follow. And whatever that inspired action is, it's going to bring in, um, you know, new youthful, energetic energy that's got you feeling pretty darn good. So, um, it's interesting to me that this harshness shows up. So, you know, don't, I guess like don't get overly cocky or, <laughs> you know, Leo, if you get too fired up, say in the wrong direction, let's say that, um, you might start, 
you know, telling people how to live and telling people what to do and being too bossy. Maybe that's what it is. So it's like easy on that energy, right? Easy on that energy. Nobody likes to know it all. That's what I heard. Um, and if this isn't you, like I said, it could be the person you're dealing with, but we'll see. So this person's genuine emotion underneath it all. How do they feel? Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. The Sun card, well that's you. Whoa. Um, it's not so cut and dry on this person's side. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, The Fool. So, Leo, this person has definitely got some insecurities that they are dealing with that they aren't letting you see or others see. Or maybe if they are, they're trying their best not to give it attention or, you know, trying their best to move out of that energy. Because what they're really desiring emotionally is to reconnect with their happiness for some of you to reconnect with you. Um, but they're just looking to feel like relief. Um, I feel like this person's been getting in their head a lot and therefore feeling a bit emotionally disconnected, you know, and when someone is not in appreciation of where they're currently at or what's currently surrounding them, it's hard to show and give emotion <clears throat> and love in an authentic way because usually they're not feeling that about themselves. So... It may, that may have been what the emotional detachment and distance is about. Is this person having a hard time, you know, feeling good about who they are or where they're at and therefore, you know, not really wanting or able to or willing to express, you know, to you what, how they're really feeling and what they're really thinking. And so this person might wall off emotionally, you know, put, shove things to the side or, I have a song in my head. Uh, Carry on my way, what song? And there'll be peace when you are done. Don't you cry no more. I have no idea who sings that. I think it's from the 70s. I could be wrong. And or the title. But I'm sure some of you will know. So put it in the comments down below. Check that song out. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Lay your weary head to rest is the lyric that stuck out to me in particular. This person might need to get some rest, you know. Uh, they may be really stuck in the fear sector of their their mind and energy, and they're really needing to break loose of that energy here, Leo, which actually emotionally, I see them headed that way, but they got a couple stumbling blocks, okay, uh, along the way, and that could have been what that visualization was about with the road, you know, being closed earlier, okay? So, what are your hopes, Leo? Well, your hope is to be your fierce, independent, loving, and awesome self. I mean, this is you. This is the strength card. You're hoping to stand in your strength, stand in your knowing, um, to um, feel good, look good, smell good, you know, uh, know your own worth, all of that. That's this person's hope. The tower, they're hoping for changes, transformations. They're wanting to see some changes within themselves, perhaps within this connection or within life in general. Um, they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're wanting to feel, see, this person's wanting success to come in for them to feel successful, but it doesn't work that way. So if you're the cross watcher, may I give you advice? You got to feel successful before the success comes in or it won't come to stay. You know, um, it's an emotional journey. Life is an emotional vibrational journey. And what happens in the physical is only the after effect of that. So like this person is like 
waiting for some sort of outcome or success or whatever to feel good or happy or successful, but it's like they're good, they're they're being asked to show appreciation right now and allow that allow themselves to feel that right now and then it comes and then it comes and that's that's how it works. So let's look into most likely future outcomes. Now all the most all the future outcomes can be changed with free will, of course. I'm just giving you a snapshot of what it looks like in the in this moment. King of Wands, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, wow. So Leo, you're definitely standing in your confidence. You're definitely standing in um, a good space, you know, for a lot of you going into the future energy, ready to move past things that once, you know, really had you stuck. And being, like I said, you're you're not going to be shy about communicating or, you know, if someone comes to you, you'll tell them exactly how it is. Leos don't beat around the bush much, you know. Leos aren't one to, like, um, play the passive-aggressive games that sometimes, like, some of the other zodiac signs do. Leos will just straight up tell you, you know, this is what I feel. You pissed me off then. This is why I did this, you know. <laughs> For the most part, you know, or I love you, I'm happy, whatever. They're expressive is what I'm saying. Um, so I see, you know, you you feeling definitely free to express yourself, um, you know, not, not really wanting to hold back, needing to hold back, not going to hold back, you know. Um, and here's that warning again about be, I heard a word spiteful. They want you to, they want, a spirit's encouraging you not to go the spiteful route, um, rather to, um, the word left me. It was very important. Well, I guess it wasn't that important, or it wouldn't have left me. But, uh, basically what it is, is like, be, I'm not, I don't want to say be gentle because I don't want you to lie and I don't want you to change who you are. And that's not what source is saying. They're saying, you know, there's always a certain amount of tact that you can use when expressing yourself because some of you might over express and then feel misunderstood or regret it or feel left out in the cold afterwards, you know, um, and, or that could be how you make this person feel like alienated. That's the word. Um, there's something about alienation going on here, whether you're intending to do that or not, you know, I don't know, you would know. Um, but it's like sometimes the way things are communicated makes the other feel alienated or misunderstood. Um, you know, so it's like, you know, um, just pay attention to that. Some of you are communicating that you feel alienated, you know, because I did see this person was kind of blocking you out emotionally. Um, I don't know if they are meaning to. I don't see that, but they could be. And some of you are getting ready to say, you know what, uh, no more. Or this is how you made me feel. You know, this is how you make me feel. Um, or you're being encouraged from spirit to express. Um, because I have Madonna in my head. Express yourself. Don't suppress yourself. <laughs> uh, Vogue, Vogue, fashion baby. <laughs> um, so let's see what this person's future energy is. King of Swords, the Empress. I'm getting all kinds of songs for you today, Leo. The Four of Cups. There's that stinking Four of Cups. There was there in your perception of them, and now it's here in the future energy. So I feel like Leo, this person is really contemplating about whether they're going to nurture this connection and or, you know, really needing to take a time out to nurture themselves, right? Because I think this person has a lot emotionally weighing on them that they're still needing to process and let go of. They're trying... I think this person tries to like ignore their emotions until they get to the point where it absolutely collapses in on them and they may have gone through that type of energy in the past, but they're kind of repeating old behaviors. So it's almost like, you know, I heard you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Like they may not be intentionally repeating 
this but I feel that you know for whatever reason they're just they don't want to address something from the past and and I don't blame them I mean in this respect rehashing the past and rehashing the past and rehashing the past and rehashing the past is good for reflection purposes but when you go beyond that then you're living in the past and that's what keeps you stuck and that's what keeps uh, growth from happening in your life. Um, and I feel like this person is really bordering that uh, within their energy of like just, you know, getting stuck there, right? So they're not trying to acknowledge that, I feel. And at the same time, they're very reflective about and waiting patiently, I think. For something to come into fruition and it's success they're waiting on success to come to them and like I said spirits wanting to tell them when they feel successful then the success comes so this person is needing to find an appreciation for where they're currently at in order for what it is that they're waiting for to come in um, but I see it as a possibility here Absolutely. And I do see a heavy, heavy, heavy focus on that as well. So, um, I'm going to leave it there. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with, my Leos. You could be dealing with another Leo. Uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Pisces. Aries again, Cancer, Leo, Cancer again, could have those placements as well, Sagittarius energy is here as well as Pisces energy. Um, could be for a few of you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But it's a general reading, so take it as it resonates. doesn't have to be any of those zodiac signs. If it did resonate, do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. You can catch me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, the description or the link is in the description box below as well as in the about section of my YouTube. I do go live and post there as well, so you can catch more fun stuff over there. If you like what I'm wearing, you can get it on my sister's online boutique, awasophiaco.com, also linked down below. In addition to that, I've added a donation um, option on the About section of my YouTube for those of you who would like to know, donate to the channel. Certainly appreciated, but never expected. Either way, thank you so much for joining me today. Wishing you the very, very, very best. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. <laughs> Wishing you the very, very best. <laughs> <laughs> one last laugh for your day all right love you leo till next time namaste bye